Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Psycho, and I've got another Walking Dead video for you all today. This one is basically just going to be something that I found on the internet that I thought was absolutely awesome, and I really enjoyed it, so I figured a lot of you would enjoy it as well, so I figured I'd share it with you all. The topic of this video involves the best Walking Dead artwork I have ever seen, hands down. Now right off the bat, I just want to say that this artwork was created by Kirk Manley. I will leave links to his Twitter, DeviantArt, and Studio website. I would really recommend you guys checking that out because he has a ton of epic artwork. Just a ton of beautiful art pieces. And I just really recommend you guys going and clicking on those links because there is just a ton of awesome stuff to see. And this guy really deserves some credit for all of this hard work. As you can see with the picture on the screen right now, we have the Last Day on Earth art piece. I believe it's also referred to as the Last Supper, and this is just a beautiful piece. My favorite art piece of The Walking Dead that I've ever seen. The detail is just tremendous. I love how it showed all four circles, showing different scenes that happen in the episode. I just really love the use of that, and just seeing all of the characters sitting together with Negan behind them, the spotlights, all of the walkers on the chains, the holes in the van with the light shining through, all of that detail is just so beautiful. Not to mention everything that's on each character's plates. You've got a baby bottle with Glenn, you've got a heart with Rosita, you've got a broken arrow with Daryl, an apple with Michonne, Bisquick with Abraham, Pickles with Maggie, a crow with Rick I think, a hammer with Sasha, a savior's license plate with Aaron, a savior's gun with Carl, and bullets with Eugene. The symbolism and references with callbacks to past episodes and things going on currently, that is just absolutely wonderful. Now of course you could just tell some normal artist that isn't really familiar with The Walking Dead to give you a good picture of The Walking Dead and they could do that, but you can really tell that Kirk Manley is a fan of this show. I would believe that considering all of this symbolism and just all of the hard work that goes into a piece like this. The color scheme is absolutely on point. Every single bit of the detail, even the small parts like with the armor on the kingdom's people, you see all of the creases in their pants, you see the belt loop holes, you see every single bit of detail. There's little smears of blood all over the tablecloth. Every single bit of that, the shadowing is perfect. Like I said, I love the color scheme. That's one of the reasons why I enjoy this artist so much. I really just found out about him because of this art piece, but I've looked at some of his other works as well, and they're absolutely beautiful just like this one. For example, as some of you know, No Sanctuary is my favorite episode in The Walking Dead, and Kirk Manley happened to do an art piece on that as well. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful too. That detail and color scheme is still used tremendously. You see every single bit, all of these callbacks, even moments like the pop smashing the zombie's face was even displayed in this art piece, and everything just looks perfect. I also love the little touch with the blood draining at the bottom. That was a big deal in the episode for setting up impact for me. We've also got another art piece by Kirk, and this is the Conquer art. This is another one that I just absolutely love. The detail is spectacular. We've got the circles once again. I really love that. Kirk, if you're watching this, I would love to see that in the future. You implement it very well, and it's just so well done overall. It's so hard to put in words of what I feel about these art pieces just because they're so fantastic and I don't want to do it an injustice by under describing how much I love it. We've also got another art piece on the governor that looks perfect as well. Now I'm just showing you guys some of the ones that I really enjoyed. This one is just awesome. We also have the four walls and a roof art piece by Kirk. This is just epic as well. I love the machete dividing the characters and the use of the stained glass. It's just so hard to describe this artwork in words because it's so well done. Finally, we have an art piece over East. I think this is a more recent one by Kirk. I love this as well. I recently saw him put it out on Twitter, and I just wanted to share my excitement on this too. Kirk really does have a talent for dividing scenes within art pieces, such as the use of circles, and then on this one we have the left and right side, with Morgan portrayed as the holy character and Rick more towards the devil character. The uses of the halo and color symbolize that, and I just love how he has small details like that. 
In addition, we have some very cool scenes in the middle as well. That just looks so awesome. And then you have the apple in the upper right corner. Anyways, that's all I basically want to say. I just saw this artwork online and fell in love with it right off the bat. And I really want to give huge props to Kirk Manley for creating stuff like this for us to enjoy. You really can tell that he has a passion for his work. And like I said, please make sure to go and click on those links in the description. I'll also try and put it in the comment section below because he has some other awesome artworks that I did not put in this video. So definitely make sure to do that. Also, if you do happen to use Twitter, make sure to let him know that I sent you guys. We just want to give him as much love as we can on here. As a Walking Dead fan, I hugely appreciate stuff like this. Also, I'm not really sure if you can buy these prints online and have them sent to you. I did go to his gallery online to check to see if there was an add to cart option. I didn't see that, and I also went to his DeviantArt to see if you could purchase something there, and I didn't see that there as well. So I'm not sure if you have to go to a convention to get these, but I will update you in the comment section below. I recently asked him on Twitter where you could buy these at, so I should be getting an answer soon, but I'm going to make this video while I have the time to do so. So stay tuned to the comment section and I'll also try and put it in the description below as well where you can buy these pieces if you can buy them online. I don't know about you guys, but I really do want to get one of these. I would get every one I showed you guys if I could, but I would love to get the Last Supper one. So I'll definitely try and update you guys on that when I figure it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Once again, go and show Kirk Manley some love on Twitter and check out some of his other works. Also, please make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy this type of thing. I really had a fun time making this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you guys once again. Peace out.